एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई डॉक्टर नीलम विल बी टीचिंग यू टूडे कन्फर्मल मैपिंग For more details, you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side. Link is given in the description box. So before we start with the conformal mapping, we will give you a background for the transformation. So transformation is when we have a certain set of coordinates and we would like to transform that in another set of coordinates. So suppose we have U and U V plane. and we have another is xy plane so if u can be transformed to xy plane by this relation u and v v is a function of xy then this is called the transformation equation which establish a relation between the points in uv plane and between the points in xy plane so this is called the transformation equation so let us call it as one now when we transform from one coordinate system to another coordinate system as we have done here that we have transformed it from uv plane to xy plane so then we need the jacobian to transform that so jacobian is represented by j and when we transform from when we have the transformation equation from uv to xy then it is defined as determinant of del u over del x del u over del y del v over del x and del v over del y so we can simplify this and it becomes del u by del x del v over del y Minus del u over del y, del v over del x. So this is called the Jacobian. It is clearly visible that it is it is going to be an expression in x and y. So this will be the quantitative measure which will be representing that uh, what will be the quantitative measure from uh, changing this coordinate system from u v to x y. So this is how we define the transformation equation. now here we were transforming we were having a relation between uv plane and xy plane now similarly we can have transformation equation from xy to uv so we can say that x is equals to x of uv and y is y is a function of u and v then when we will define the jacobian for this it's going to be jacobian of del of xy over del of uv and it is again defined in the same way del x over del u del y over del v del u del x over del v and del y over del v so we can simplify this and it becomes del x over del u del y over del v minus del y over del u and del x over del v so this jacobian when we are transforming from xy to uv is reciprocal to the jacobian when we were transforming from uv to xy so if x and y are continu continuously differentiable in in the entire region r and if this jacobian exist so we can say that there will be a one to one relationship between xy and uv so this is how we define the transformation equation now similarly similar uh, transformation exists for the complex uh, variable also and complex function also so if we write down some complex function so w equals to f of z so similar kind of transformation exist here also because you uh, we have already discussed this in our previous videos that w can be represented as u plus iota v and z can be represented as x plus iota y so this is a complex function and this is a complex variable so u and v can be uh, they are the real and imaginary part of the uh, this uh, complex function and they can be we can resolve it into u and v and u and v can be written in form of x and y 
So we can take one example to make it more clear that suppose w equals to z square transformation is there. So we will see that w is u plus iota v and z as we say as we know that z is a complex variable so it can be represented as x plus iota y whole square. So if we expand this this is coming out to be x square minus y square by using the fact that i square is going to be minus 1 and plus twice iota xy. So we can see that it has been resolved into real and imaginary parts. So u becomes x square minus y square and v becomes twice xy. So now we can uh, find out that when we take this xy plane and we take this uv plane. So we can find out that which point in xy plane is transformed to which point in uv plane. So we can substitute this, we can say that say line x equal to 1. If we say line x equal to 1, so it is this line. This is say x equal to 1 line. Now if we substitute x equal to 1 in this one, so u becomes 1 minus y square and v becomes 2y. Now when, when we want to find out the uh, figure in uv plane, then we need to eliminate this x and y. So it has uh, for x it has already been given to us that x is going to be 1. But it is not given for y. So we need to use this relation between u and v to get a relation in u and v itself. So this relation will be used to find out. So it can be written as from this relation we can say that v square is 4y square. So y square can be replaced with v square by 4. So it can be written as v square by 4. So one line, this is x equal to one line, will be uh, transformed into this curve in uv plane. That is u equal to 1 minus v square by 4. So it is coming out to be this type of curve. So this curve is u equal to 1 minus v square by 4. Now similarly, we can find out that which line or which point will be transformed to which point in uv plane. So this is about mapping, that this mapping is said to be the conformal mapping. Now let us say that conformal mapping So if we take th these two planes, because we no now we have the background of this. So this is uv plane and this is xy plane. This is xy plane. Now if we take a point here, x0, y0, and we say that this point x0, y0 in uv plane is transformed to some point in uv plane named as u0, v0. This curve C1 and C2 has been transformed to some curve C1 dash and C2 dash here. We are not taking the same curves because we have already seen in the previous example that it is not necessary that same type of figure will be transformed into same type of figure. That is why a different curve has been taken. Now, if this uh, 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 the angle between uh, the curve C1 and C2 at the point x0, y0 is retained in the uh, uv plane also, that is the angle between C1 dash and C2 dash at u0, y, v0 is uh, kept same in magnitude and sense, then this type of mapping will be called as conformal mapping. Clear? So we will say that this angle is angle is maintained in magnitude and in sense also and in sense also. Then also then the mapping is said to be then the mapping is said to be the said to be the conformal mapping. Now suppose the, ma the magnitude is maintained but not the sense. Then such a mapping will be called as isogonal mapping. 
okay if the magnitude is being maintained but not the sense so then such type of mapping will not be called as conformal mapping rather it will be called as isogonal mapping so we can uh, make the statement in form of a theorem for conformal mapping so if fz is the given a uh, complex function and if fz is analytic and fz dash is not zero in r then fz is said to be is said to be conformal conformal mapping now what happens if this f dash z zero uh, if dash f dash z becomes zero so if f dash z becomes zero then these points are called as these points are called as critical points these points are called as critical points so if a function is analytic and it is uh, uh, this f dash z is not zero in the entire region r then f dash z is said to be conformal mapping and if f dash z z is equal to zero then this these will be the important points which will be called as the critical points so we need further analysis on these points so this is all about conformal mapping now we'll take one example to make it more clear uh, in the next part of the video so in this part of the video we have learned what do we mean by transformation how a, a complex function complex transformation uh, transform the xy plane to uy uv plane and when a uh, mapping is said to be the conformal mapping so in next part of the video we will take one example for conformal mapping and then we will move to next article that is mobius transformation for in depth knowledge of the subject you can refer to the book from eschant publishing details of which is given on this side and link is given in the description box please do like share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos thank you very much all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder